Hey guys, Zenus from TechLango here at the Moto Z and Z Play launch. The two smartphones from Motorola show us an interesting approach to a seamless modular setup. So here's our first hands-on impressions. Moto's take on modularity stems from enhancing the user experience on specific functions such as integrating zoom, audio, battery life, and the list goes on. First up, the Moto Z. It retails at a price of 899 SGD, comes in white and black color options, and on the front of the phone, we see a 5.5 inch Quad HD AMOLED display. This is really vibrant. Also, we see that the Moto Z is powered by the Snapdragon 820 processor from Qualcomm. The phone comes with 4GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage with up to 2TB of micro SD card support. On the front, we see a fingerprint sensor as well. From just first impressions wise, it's pretty fast and reliable. For the camera setup of the phone, we have a 13 megapixel main camera of f1.8 aperture size with optical image stabilization. On its front, it has a 5 megapixel selfie camera. The Moto Z comes with USB Type C standards and an inbuilt battery capacity of 2600 milliamps. What we really like about the Moto Z is that it's only 5.2 mm thick. This makes it the thinnest flagship phone available in the market right now. Next up, the Moto Z Play. This phone retails slightly cheaper at $699, comes in white and black color options as well, similar to that of the Z. On the front, we see a 5.5 inch Full HD AMOLED display. It's powered by a different processor, the Snapdragon 625, comes with 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, and 256 gigs of micro SD card support. For the camera setup, it has a 16 megapixel f2.0 aperture size for its main camera, and 5 megapixel f2.2 front camera. We see USB Type-C on this as well, and a much larger battery of 3510 milliamps. Now, let's talk about modularity. First up, we have the JBL Soundboost speakers at $139. If you're a party goer, or if you just want to play some loud ass music, these are the attachments for you. Next, the Hasselblad True Zoom Camera. This one's interesting guys, it has 10 times optical zoom. You know, when Apple launched its cameras with two times, we went like nuts over it, right? So 10 times is like amazing. But things are not all perfect for this. It is priced at 459 SGD. Following, we have the InstaShare projector. This one comes at $399, which is a pretty hefty price. But we feel that Motorola has really innovated with the projector. If you need to share videos, movies, any experiences or memories with your friends and family, this projector is at your fingertips. For you Pokemon Go lovers out there, there's the Incipio Off-Grid Power Pack. This attachment allows you to have extra juice on your phone. It keeps things neat, handy, and efficient. The Incipio Off-Grid Power Pack comes at 199 SGD. Last but not least, we have the Style Shells. These are swappable back covers and they come in 6 different options. We have the Black Leather, Charcoal Ash, Silver Oak, Washed Oak, Crimson Ballistic Nylon, and finally, Black Herring. The swappable back covers come at a price of $25 to $29. In conclusion, we are really excited for what Motorola has to offer to our Singapore smartphone scene. These phones are available from November 16 onwards at Lenovo exclusive stores QO10 and Lazada. Look out for our full review when we get our hands on the phones. Hope you have enjoyed our first looks on the Moto Z and Z Play, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you soon.